Hello, kings and queens. This is Age King from Royal Age Gaming coming at you with another strategy guide for Age of Empires 3. Um, I'm going to be playing as the French today, doing an aggressive strat, and we're against a random personality. We don't know exactly who that's going to be. And yeah, you guys can see my skill rating. If anyone's interested, that's it currently. And we're on Great Plains, so let's jump right into it. Again, this is going to be a bit of an aggressive strategy, but I'm going to have a strong economy while doing so. So, first things first, let's put those guys in there, jump them to that. Uh, unfortunately, they all somehow, for some reason, piled up on that same one. Let's see how much coin this is. 50 coins, so I actually don't even need to gather the coin. Alright, build a market as soon as possible. Nice. Alrighty. So I'm pretty much where I want to be in terms of... The initial start. As soon as this is built, or as soon as possible, I'm gonna get hunting dogs. My right, hunting dogs on the way. Bonjour, chasseur. Oui, chasseur. I'm gonna get start from this just to be safe that I don't miss a villager training. I'm gonna start gathering food actually. Okay, gotta be careful not to run into those. That could mean the end of my scout there so I'm gathering this while yeah I'm only gonna miss like a second I'm gathering this while my uh, scout is still exploring right because I want to maximize my time and he's not really gonna take much damage from this at all it's pretty negligible to be honest, the damage that he would take yeah, that, this guy is... So I'm going to probably get a villager just in time. Alright, so I use the town center again there a little quicker. And we should be golden. Alright, so the deck I'm going to use... I'll show you guys a little bit in a second. Let me just make sure I got him traveling in the right direction. Yeah, that's what I'm to get for now. Alright. Got my stuff queued up. Herds near my base. Alright, that should be nice. So, the deck we're using today has a pretty, uh, pretty strong deck. So, we have three villagers as our first shipment. A, ton, a couple of units, a lot of resources available, some upgrades in H2, but also basically the same idea in H3. Mostly a lot of units. So if I do want to go to the Fortress Age, say I'm losing in H2, I can always age up and have an opportunity to win in H3. Um, a big part of the, this will keep us mostly in H2, but we'll see. I haven't got any huge treasures yet. We've all been helpful, but... I could be scouting for even better ones, really. Oui. Bonjour. Right, so after this, I want them to go to woodcutting. Votre ordre? Ramasseur. Chasse after this, I want them to mine. So I'm clicking on it and then shift clicking. I'm going to try to age up as soon as possible. Perfect. So now I do want to collect this coin. And then I'm going to get Gangsaw and then I really want to put everyone to woodcutting. These guys are already there. Chasseur. Buchon. Let's see, can I find another herd? That's my closest, my next closest herd, which isn't that close, to be honest. I'm going to search around my base. Really, you want to get the herd as close to you, your, your safety as possible. I am going to be making an FB, so it's not bad for me to send a villager here. In fact, I'm also going to try to get a trading post. I'm definitely going to this. I literally need 25 coin for an upgrade I want, so... I'm going to keep him here so that once I have enough for a trading post I can get that. Yeah, I can't get the other things yet so I'm going to start with the trading post. I'm also going to get wood as soon as I age up so realize that as well. Yeah, I need to have my... I'm not going to get this yet. Well, I can't anyway, but I need to have my right. barracks building first, because right. I really want to squeeze out those units a little bit earlier if I can. Yeah, so everything else is pretty much falling into place. Oui. 
Chasseur, bûcheron. I'm gonna build a barracks. Let's see. The closest I could build it is right there. I'm gonna probably build it a little bit further Masson away. Bûcheron. Right here. Ship uh, 700 wood. Oui. Might be, seem a little bit weird because I already have a lot of wood. But you'll see where I'm going with it. Oui. Oui. Ramasseur. Votre ramasseur. First of all, I just spent 100 on that. I'm gonna try to continuously produce musketeers now. Prêt, maçon, chasseur. Bonjour, très bien, chasseur. Get my woodcutters on to food now. Prêt, je ferai, chasseur. All right, perfect. Oh, I'm gonna need houses, of course. Maçon, ramasseur, oui, très bien, ramasseur. All right, so my musketeer is gonna produce only probably one. Votre ordre? One extra, eh, maybe two extra. I'm gonna have a couple mosques. Oh, actually, good thing I noticed that. We had a villager queued. An extra one queued. Almost made that last one. So I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit of raiding now. Alright, Explorer's gonna build the second trading post, since I can't afford it. Also, gonna build the second barracks. Alright, so there we go. I'm gonna have a pretty solid economy. Just looking to do a little bit of raiding, if possible. If I can get just one villager, that'd be nice. Even one villager, I guess I should say. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, alright. So what I'm gonna do now... Alright. I'm in a decent position. I'm gonna probably kill... A couple of villas here. I'm gonna save one musketeer here, if possible. Doesn't look like I'm actually going to be able to, but that's okay. Alright, so now I have two barracks. Gonna grab a stable. Really want to be producing musks a little faster than I currently am. I do have a food upgrade, that's good. Alright, good, they're all gonna be coming to there. Alright, so I'm producing musks at a pretty decent rate now. Nice, okay. So now I should be able to basically non-stop produce musketeers. We'll see. I'm gonna wait till I have 150 so that they're training at the exact same time. Um, I'm not gonna clog up my military area that much. Okay. I do want to send... Someone have this. Oui, chasseur. Chasseur. Yeah, I need Bonjour. less coin gatherers, more food chasseur. gatherers. Gonna start transitioning to oui, cavalry pretty soon. Ooh, I might be able to get pretty close to maxing it out. I'm gonna go for some cav. This is gonna make my food 20% faster, so that's like a fifth of that. Someone do the math in their head real quick. Yeah, so, if I had 20 villagers, that would be 4. I'm about to have 20 villagers on food. 4 bill shipments, pretty good. And it doesn't take up any population. Actually, I'm going to that in a second. Not just yet. I'm going to run out of population, won't I? Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go to my trading post, upgrade it. So really I could be pushing and pressuring with this. Queen Isabella probably actually has a pretty good army. Oh, wait, so I can produce two. Oh. Not control. Control shift clicking. I'm gonna have to hit and run here as best I can. They have a pretty good army, but I definitely am gonna win it. You send your men into Gonna get cav shipment. Send my men to certain death. I think I'm literally gonna send these guys here because there's no real other close source. I'm hurting this, but by the time these guys meet up. Alright. Gonna start training cav. So I can raid at the same time as I want to push. Quite useful. Alright, I upgraded this. I'm 
one on wood, one on coin. My economy's super strong. I've been pressuring. I have an army. I could be more aggressive. A little bit more boom there than I typically do. Like, more eco-focused, but that's totally fine. Alright, I'm gonna send these guys right up here. Bonjour. Once that wood shipment comes in, I want to get this and a house. Actually, that's not going to be enough. I definitely want... I'm definitely... I 100% going to need a house. Oh, I actually could have got a couple more there. It's okay. A few of these guys here. I definitely need a house. Once the wood comes in, which is right there. Alright, going right in. Oui. I'm gonna raid and destroy their entire economy. I, find it. I really can't fight with this because they're gonna get destroyed by those melee units, but what I can do is raid. Good news is my population is no longer maxed. All part of the plan, team. There we go, so I'm winning this battle. And my cav are raiding, destroying his economy. I'm also producing more musketeers as we go along. I'm gonna ship wood. Yeah, his economy is ravaged now. He really didn't. I mean, this will happen against players sometimes. I'll just forget. Or not, not forget, but there's a lot to focus on at once. Which is good. It's the main resource I need. Oh, nice battle. Basically, like game over. I destroyed his army. Here's a challenge right here. These guys hit pretty hard. This is going down pretty soon. I'm gonna shift up there. There's no other nearby mine. I can age up, but what I'm gonna do instead is just train an absolutely huge amount of military. Yeah, I'm gonna need another military building to actually optimize my production here. Oui, très bien. Oui. Let's see. Yep, those are already gathered. I'll just scout them. Let's see. Anywhere else I need to raid? Yep, that's gonna be his economy right there. How do I know? Because I can see the dead villagers, the dead uh, bison right there, which means villagers are there. Yep, there population is max, so guess what I'm going to do? Get more population. You guys figured that out. I'm sure you can figure that out on your own when you're low on pop and you're building units. Keep building houses until you're maxed out. It's kind of how you're, you grow in Age of Empires. So what I've been doing, if you notice how I'm not really clicking on the units, I'm just like snapping to them. I put them in control groups. Alright, game's already over. Pretty fast one, that was, that was good. I put my units in control groups. And which like this one is musketeers. Right now I'm pressing the number two. So I'm I could be over here, not doing anything, press the number two, I'm selecting them. Then when I press space, I go to them. Basically you guys, you saw how the strat works. You have two barracks in the beginning, one to squeeze out that first batch while you're kinda of fixing your economy up a little bit, getting this upgrade, and your training bowls. And then you get your second barrack, start pumping out units, your stable and you could get your cav earlier. In fact, I normally would get it earlier and start raiding, but Queen Isabella, and I saw his army, was almost strictly anti-cav. It was the Mayan pikemen, Mayan-looking pikemen guys, and his own pikemen, and some spies. So, very much anti-cav. And Rodello, actually, which is all anti-cav. So, for me to train cav would have been a huge waste. They would have destroyed me. Whereas Musk pretty much beat that army, especially when I could hit and run. So basically the order there was three, seven hundred, and then either six hundred or four villagers. Six hundred void that is, and four villagers. So, you know, that's basically how it goes. Um, I could have aged up, I could have probably managed my resources a little better. It's a little bit difficult to explain and do at the same time, but it, uh, it was a pretty good run of the strategy. Um, Let's view the post game. Yeah, 
So I had 87 military units, about 10 of those were Tav, and I just completely demolished him. And this is Expert Calm. If you guys have any questions on the strategy, let me know, and I will answer in the comments for sure. Also, if you have any other sieves you want me to look at, look into, maybe do a strategy or develop a strategy for, even if it's something weird like a Dutch rush or or a Russian boom, which isn't as weird as a Dutch rush, I would imagine. But something like that. Anything you guys want to see, I'd be very happy to oblige. So let me know what you want, think and what you want. See you later, guys. Itching out.